Hi Cancer and welcome to your weekly general and love tarot <clears throat> forecast. This is for the week of August 19th, I'm sorry, August 13th through August 19th, 2018. I will do two separate readings in this video. The first one will be general energies for the week. The second will be love energies for the week. I have created timestamps and placed them in the description box below for both readings. So Cancer, let's see what is up for you guys. Who are you this week? I'm going to pull a court card here to see what is going on primarily for you. Okay, so we have the Sage of Crystals. This is you being very um, mature and in control of things in your life this week. So you're going to feel very grounded, very on point, very empowered, very in control of things. And if you're not feeling that way, fall into that energy because you know, coming out as the um, Seeker of Crystals. It's, you know, um, also messages coming to you about money or um, financial opportunities, new employment, um, calls for job interviews, job opportunities, job offers, okay? There's just the, an element to your energy this week where there's uh, communication coming in in regards to money somehow, some way. Also, you know, um, feeling grounded in yourself and making choices from a very practical standpoint rather than, you know, being on a leap of faith, okay? So any sort of decisions this week, make sure they're solid and stable. Don't take a leap of faith, not with the seeker of chalice or seeker of crystals and also again messages coming about money um, maybe there could be a little bit of unexpected money coming your way something about a job you know let's take a look here all right so we have the sixth and seventh house coming out for you guys this is like the work and duty area of your life this is about your relationships, business, friend, family, romantic, okay? So um, with this coming out, Cancer, there's like some change to your routine that you're thinking of making. It could affect some relationships. You could be starting a new job where you're going to um, meet a lot of people and you're going to have a lot of strong relationships and connections there, okay? So let's keep going. What's going on inside of Cancer? Why is the energy coming out like this? Um, you can have a lot of communications with family this week. Um, some of them could be asking to borrow money from you. Maybe if you are in a financial bind, you might be borrowing money from them. Um, they could be asking you for favors, or if you need some help, Cancer, you might be asking for favors. All right, so the energy inside of you, your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusion. So listen, Cancer, do not make any sort of big change or a big decision this week on a leap of faith, okay? I don't feel like I'm all about miracles and the universe always has your back, like, but what I feel is like the energy has to be right. So this is a week to really be practical in your decisions, in your actions, in what you're doing rather than being really illusionary about it, fantasizing, or not being practical, okay? So let's see what the energy around you is. What's going on around Cancer? All right, so we have Leo, which Leo keeps showing up. So I feel that the um, new moon in Leo that just happened on the 10th partial solar eclipse has a lot to do with what everybody's experiencing this week. And you guys are no exception with this energy coming out. So there's a lot of energy going on around you, Cancer. Um, and I feel you do have like new connections coming into your life this week or new ideas to switch up your routine, um, new job offers, job interviews, um, People, I, and like I said, people could be giving you like money, r money they owed you, or if you're really in a financial straits, you, um, I feel like there's somebody who can definitely help you out with that. All right, but be very sound in all you do. No leaps of faith, no fantasy, no illusion, okay? So we have um, the death card here. We have the chariot. Here's your energy. 
We have the Page of Cups. We have the Ten of Coins. And we have the Empress. Yes. Listen, Cancer. Um, very lucrative opportunities showing up for some of you this week, okay? Um, and a second chance at something. So I don't know, this could be like a second interview this week, which to me lands you the job, okay? Um, there's some emotions and things going on inside of you also that you're really keeping to yourself. Like, I don't feel like Cancer is super expressive of their inner world and their emotions and how they're truly feeling. It's like you're kind of holding back. You don't want to expose yourself or, you know, you don't feel like anybody's going to understand what you're saying. But, um, you know, when you come out of isolation and you start expressing yourself, Cancer, there's some opportunity here that you did not foresee or that you didn't believe could happen, all right? So if you're absolutely miserable at your job, but you don't feel like you can find one that will pay you as much or be as convenient for other things in your life, you need to rethink that and put yourself out there and network because there's an opportunity here. Some of you a second chance at something and we're just looking at general energies. We're not looking at like romance, okay? This is, um, and wow, this just fell out. Yeah, whatever is being offered to you, Cancer, this week, go for it. If it's long as it's sound, wow. And now we have this. So we have, um, the bonfire and then the Beltane and this is all about celebration and happiness and uh, new energy like Leo so listen cancer things are turning better for you this week no matter what you've been going through um, in your life this week it's like things are actually turning around for you and feeling like a much better energy. And even if things haven't been going bad for you, this week is like a really good um, feeling for cancer. And there's new friendships, new relationships um, coming into your life or reconnecting with like old business associates, old friends. And through these like reconnections, it might bring about like a new job opportunity. Or maybe you're going to consider moving to a different state, different country country, all right, there's just some sort of lucrative opportunity coming Cancer's way this week, but make sure your decisions are sound and practical and grounded and, you know, not on a leap of faith or really deluded or fantasy-like, all right, make sure of that. The energy has to be grounded and then you will have great success. I honestly feel by the end of the week, um, Whatever these communications or offers that are coming to you brings you and brings about a great deal of happiness from you. And it's like some of you, you come out of seclusion or you finally open up about um, how you really feel or you're finally feeling like with these new connections, you're among your tribe. If you're starting a new job, it's just there's great happiness um, going on for um, cancer this week and you're feeling um, very empowered okay like you can get things done you can make things happen and you can just make sure you're being very practical that's the only uh, word of caution is make sure you're practical in your conversations and in your decisions and what it is that you're reaching for okay so those are your general uh, messages for the week cancer i am wishing you all the very best take care all right cancer let's see what we, we got going on in the romance department for you guys this week looks like a lot of reconnections of old relationships and connections in your general so let's see if that uh, theme follows through in your love energies. Whoa, okay, that one definitely had to come out. Treasure your loved ones. It's important to love others deeply. So Cancer, this week um, is a week to focus on love and um, what's working rather than... Um, you know, what's lacking in your life in regards to love and romance. Um, so if you're completely single, it's like 
appreciating you, loving you, all right, treasuring and valuing yourself because the relationship you have with yourself is often the relationship you will have between you and your romantic partner. So if you're completely single, this is all about treasuring and loving yourself and realizing the amazement that you truly are and seeing yourself as much more significant than you have been and not looking at your singlehood as there's something wrong with you. It's just, you know, all things are truly in divine timing. And um, I would tell you this story, but it'd be way too long for this video. Just seriously, like trust in um, the universe and the way things are aligned and divine timing. It's just, wow, that's all I can say about that I've learned so personally in these last couple days of my life of, of things, connections that go back, you know, from childhood and the way it all played out up to this point in my life at age 40. So listen, Cancer, if you are single, love yourself, honor yourself, value yourself, and know that all things happen in perfect divine timing. Um, if you're just dating somebody and you're wanting more of a commitment and things like that and it's not moving, again, be happy for what is. Treasure that person for the individual they are, not for the possession that you want to be your own, you know? Treasure and love them for their individuality, the fact that, you know, they are another person and vibe there. It will really make you feel better and um, make your energy more alluring to where they want to give you a commitment, okay? If you are in a serious relationship, it's this week very important that we shift all of our focus back to love, what's working right, why we fell in love, and treasure and value that um, to the nth degree. Like, you're, I just feel like it's all about gratitude this week. I don't know why. Even if you are super grateful anyways, it's like, no, focus 100% on love. And now um, we have this 10th house energy. So some of you, um, you know, you could be dealing with somebody that's been struggling for employment or maybe you're struggling for employment and we're just really focused on money and career this week. Um, your achievements and status in the outside world. This could also be where some of you are just really worried about what other people will think about you dating a specific person or reconnecting with a specific person or the person that you're trying to be with. Maybe that's what they're facing. They're worried about what people would say, you know, just depending on your family, your religion, all of that. You know, there's different stigmas and prejudices in this world that exist, unfortunately. And you might be involved with somebody where you're not sure they would fit in or be accepted by your family and friends or vice versa, okay? So some of you could be facing that. And if that's the case, treasure your loved ones. Who cares what anybody else says? If you and that person are vibing, you and that person are vibing. And if they're the one holding back, then all you can say is, look, we have something, and if that's not enough for you, this is about to be your loss, not mine, because I'm in it, and you're not. So, you know, some of you definitely could be dealing with that. Now, um, look at here. We have Pluto coming out on what's going on, going on inside of Cancer, your ability to transform, take a big leap forward, and rebirth. Pluto is currently retrograde in the 10th house. So, Cancer, yes, there is some sort of transformation taking place in your relationship or in your romantic energies this week, even if you are single, okay? Rebirth, they could be preparing you for, um, you know, a new relationship that's about to enter your life or a reconnection, okay, with rebirth there. But this is card 10 and this is the 10th house. 10s are the endings, the completion. So if you've been single for a while, I feel like that may very well be coming to an end, okay? Um, and there's just inside of you, you're really changing and growing this week, Cancer. And uh, focusing on love and cherishing your loved ones will really uh, just help put you at ease. So the energy around you is Sagittarius. The energy imbues power, superior confidence and enthusiasm with faith, good fortune, and authority. Yeah, this is lucky 
energy. This is passion. This is excitement. This is sensuality. There's a, I feel like there's a great chemistry and connection for you guys with somebody. But again, there's like this element of holding back or uh, something of, you know, will everybody accept this type of, you know, vibe energy. So let's see, Cancer. Let's see what comes out in the tarot. And again, if this is about employment, I feel like this is a lucky week for you guys that are needing a job or your spouse, or significant other needing a job. All right, so we have the Four of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. We have the uh, Knight of Wands, the Ace of Wands. Wow, look at all this fire. Perfect with that Sagittarius energy. And then we have the Moon card here. So, um... Cancer, yeah. Some of you, I know, you're really bored with being single, okay? Very bored with it. But again, here we have the Six of Wands and the um, Knight of Wands with the Ace of Wands. With this pairing, listen, there could be a hookup or a fling for some of you. Um, if you kind of get the sense that somebody that you just met or somebody that you're kind of seeing is just like being sexual and just in it for the sex, you're probably right on that, okay? Because with the moon here, it's like you have a sense about something, like, hey, why don't we do this, or why aren't we doing that? Why do we always just hang out at this time? Am I just sex? And they're like, no. Well, I feel like it is. So be mindful of that energy if you're dealing with that. Also, some of you that haven't been with somebody for a while, um, I feel like if you're just out and about, um, you have this opportunity for a connection, very passionate uh, connection at that could definitely turn into something with the moon card there, okay? So, um, let's see. If we're dating, this looks like a good week, a lot of fun. Um, it might start out a little eh. Like, so let's just say at the beginning of the week, you know, things aren't really hot and fiery. They definitely are by the end. Um, if you go out on a date and it starts out a little slow, um, it will definitely pick up and get better. Okay. Um, if you're in a relationship, seriously committed, you know, if we've been bored, there's like something happening here this week where there's new passion and excitement this transformational energy taking place in your relationship this week. So deception, somebody is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So what I feel about this is those of you where you are worried about the person you're interested in being accepted somewhere in your life or the person you're interested in, like you being accepted somewhere in their life, I don't feel like we're being outwardly honest about that. Like we're kind of holding it back. Also with this, um, you know, somebody's not telling their true whole feelings about something. This isn't like deceitful, like I'm cheating, I have all these secrets. It's not that. It's like, especially next to this moon card, somebody's really not fully expressing themselves. That could be you, Cancer. That could be whoever you are involved with. But somebody definitely needs to uh, express their emotions a bit more and say how they truly feel and what's really going on and what the holdup is. Next we have a trust. And so this situation, and look at this, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. Yeah, I just feel like there's some issue here of acceptance on your side or the side of the person you're dating. And if you guys just hang in there and value each other, I feel ultimately you won't give two shits about what other people think or um, you'll be ultimately accepted or they'll be ultimately accepted in your family or religion or whatever it is that's the wedge that kind of, you know, keeps you guys apart. Just trust and flow. And again, you know, um, if you guys, with this, if there's anybody who just kind of dips in and out of your life, uh, Cancer trusts that if they show up this week, it's probably the same thing. They might just be feeling a little bit bored. Um, if you're considering, you know, hitting somebody up just because you're feeling a little bit bored but you don't have any real intention, you might want to rethink that, okay? There might come more with it than you were anticipating or wanting to deal with, okay? So, love 
and gratitude this week for your partner, for romance, for yourself, however that plays out. You know, if there's some sort of weirdness where there's not full acceptance on either side with family, religion, whatever, um, just give it time, okay? Some of you, new relationships showing up this week, um, you know, I could be a return from the past. I don't see a whole lot of that energy in this reading particularly, but um, if somebody from the past does show up, again, be weary that they're not just here for a hookup and all of that, that they actually want something if you truly um, desire another um, relationship with them. But there looks to be a hot hookup for some of you out there this week. So anyways, Cancer, those are your messages in regards to romance. I'm wishing you all the very best. Take care.